A CMPD officer now suspended after body cam video shows he repeatedly punched a woman while her hands were behind her back. The footage from officers finally getting released yesterday. It comes a month after this viral cell phone video captured the arrest outside of Southwest Charlotte Bojangles. Wake up Charlotte's Richard Vane now live for us this morning. And Richard, the police chief says most officers on scene in this video follow protocol. Yeah, that is correct, Ben. Good morning to you. Good Wednesday morning all. Uh, Chief Jennings actually put out a statement that uh, you can read part of it and uh, published out there saying that his officers acted as they do and as they will continue to do in the best interests of the public. But even with all of this, you do know that there are folks who are concerned about what happened. It started with this. Officers accusing and struggling to arrest the couple who they say were smoking weed at a bus stop. It ended with a video that went viral and people upset and confused at CMPD policing. CMPD released hours of footage from that day, including body camera footage and surveillance video from a traffic camera. Police say during the confrontation with Christina Pierre and her co-worker, she hit an officer. But as police chief Johnny Jennings told us right after the incident that the officer's camera got knocked off. But you do see in this video moments after taken by a bystander where the officer responds by punching her several times as she falls to the ground. Then a different angle of the video that went viral. Pierre on the ground. More officers arrive trying to detain her. One officer delivers 17 compliance blows to her leg, which the department told us is consistent with their training. But for some, including witnesses, the tactics went too far. And there was one man or what they had her on the ground. Okay. And that, like I told one of them, was the biggest display of disrespect from Charlotte police officers that I could ever imagine. What was done to her was completely uncalled for, and I'll go to court and testify for it. Now, it's important to note that Jennings says that as far as that compliance, when that officer was striking her, he said the mistake that that officer made also backed up by a citizen review board would have been had he stopped after the third strike, he would have realized with her hands behind her back that she was in compliance. For that, that officer has been suspended for a week. We're right here at CMPD headquarters. Richard Vane for WCNC Charlotte. All right, Richard, thank you for that. Now, CMPD says the victim was smoking marijuana, but in the body cam video, the victim says she bought what she was smoking legally at a smoke shop. Take a look. Are you smoking weed? You guys smoking weed? It's coming from the store. Well, the I, store I can shops. smell it coming from that. So. You got it from the from smoke shop. shop. Okay, well, go ahead. Your favorite. Okay, I'm on the back, please. Whoa, no, whoa. no, no, no. Now, her lawyer claims she was smoking something called THCA. But is that any different than marijuana? And more importantly, is it legal here in North Carolina? Let's verify. Our sources are the North Carolina state law and the Farm Bill of 2018. Now, THCA is a natural compound that comes from the cannabis plant. When folks burn it, it can make people feel a, a similar high to the one they get from smoking marijuana. Buying this THCA in North Carolina was made possible when the federal Farm Bill passed back in 2018. That bill decriminalized most hemp products. So we can verify, yes, THCA is different than marijuana, but when it is specifically burned, it could be considered illegal because of the THC in it. Sir?